Hi, welcome to Cook with Joy. I'm Joy Kelly, and this is my fourth season of our favorite cooking show, right, Derek? This is my favorite cooking show for sure. I know, especially when I feed you. Especially, are we making hot dogs today? We are. We're making, well, don't give it away. Oh, sorry. It's a secret. It's a secret. So we are doing this show in May, which means that we're getting close to summer. And what does everybody want in the summertime? That's really, really bad for them. Um, Besides hot beer. Hot dogs. Besides beer. Uh, hot dogs, that's right. You know, I loved hot dogs growing up. I didn't get to have them very often because my mom didn't think they were very good for us. And she was right. Hot dogs are kind of made with all the crap that, I mean, like the leftovers. meat. leftovers. The meat yeah, rockets. Yes, just, just bad, bad, bad stuff for you. But last year, I discovered vegetarian hot dogs. Come on. And I discovered some that were actually good. There's a lot out there on the market. I started out with another version of these. And they didn't taste very good to me. I soon discovered that the reason they didn't taste very good was because I didn't put all the stuff on them. Like mustard. Yeah, mustard and uh, the whole thing. It's, it's, it's a whole thing. Just trust me, it's a whole thing. But I just want to talk about the different hot dogs that are out there that are meat-free just for a minute. These are my favorites, and I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. One of the problems with this light life is that it has soy in it. Now for me, I don't think there's anything wrong with soy at all. I think it's a whole political thing. And if you want to read more about my views on soy and John Robbins' views on soy, et cetera, et cetera, I've got some articles on my cookwithjoy.com website, so you can check it out there. But in the interest of being fair to people who didn't like soy, I started investigating other hot dogs. In fact, I even had a hot dog cook-off at my house on the 4th of July. No lie. But no meat. No meat. I thought these would be my favorite. They're made by Field Roast, and I've used these before, and I guess I didn't read the label very clearly because they're not gluten-free, sadly. They are delicious, and they are soy-free, but if you are gluten-sensitive or you're really, really, really in avoiding gluten, don't eat these, but they are delicious, I must tell you. Now, I have some really good news for you, good news and bad news. This company, Beyond Meat, they are coming out with a gluten-free and soy-free hot dog. Heck that's, yeah, that's great. That's the good news. Well, you don't even care, Derek, but that is the good news. But the bad news is, is that, they're, first of all, they're not available yet. Second of all, they're only going to be available in restaurants to start, so you'll have to go to, you know, sometimes you get this stuff and you get it in a high-end restaurant, they charge $20 for a no-meat hamburger which I think is awesome. If they're charging $20 for a hamburger, why not charge $20? People think that they're, you know, that's fancier because they're spending more money, right? It's a lot cheaper at Cook With Joy. Yes, it's a lot cheaper at Cook With Joy. Today, we're gonna use the light life. But first, I wanna set you up with the rest. I know it just sounds like a hot dog and like what you just do a hot dog and you throw it on a bun. No, this is a whole thing. What did I tell you in the beginning? I said it's a whole thing. So the next thing we gotta think about is what are we gonna put the hot dog in? A tortilla. Well, you could, you're just jumping ahead of me all over the place. You're giving away my whole show, man. Now, normally people use like gluten-free hot dog buns. In fact, I have some in my freezer. And you know what? Even when you thaw them out, they still taste like they're frozen. They're terrible. So I'm not even going to show you the brand names because I've tried every one of them. I have not found a hot dog bun that I like. But you can wrap them in a... Tor tortilla. Yes, you cheater face. You can wrap them in a tortilla, a gluten-free tortilla, and there are several options. This is the option we're going to use today. It's called Beef Free, and it's gluten and wheat-free completely. Now, they also make one that has chia and ground quinoa in it, and this is delicious, but it does have some flowers in it, and it doesn't say wheat-free, so I just discovered that the other day, that these probably wouldn't do if you're completely gluten-free. Then we have the brown rice tortillas, and these are delicious. They're food of life, and they have very few ingredients in them, so this is a good, this is a good option. They're not quite as soft as the beef free, so they're not my favorites, but I do like them and I keep them on hand. Obviously, my favorite is the one that is sadly empty. This is my very favorite, and it's made from teff, and it's, by, it's called Sonoma, and it's made by La Tortilla Factory. And it's just tough and they're super soft. And when you heat them up like we're going to do, they get really flaky on the outside. They are awesome. And I wish I would have saved one for you. Oh, I'm come sorry. On. I know, they're really good. But you're going to like these. It's going to be good. All right. So first thing we got to do is we got to get everything ready to go, right? So we're going to open up the hot dogs. And the reason I didn't like the hot dogs the first time I had them was because I just boiled them or, I just, or nuked them or something, something dumb. It wasn't a smart thing. What you have to do is you gotta open them up and grill them. Now you could use a George Foreman grill, which probably would be the best. I didn't even think of that. I could pull out my George Foreman grill. Should I do that? I could pull it out. 
but I can also do it on the stove top. Which do you think I should do, Derek? Let's just do it on the stove. That seems like it's easier. Okay. It, it's not hard. I just, I just didn't think to take it out. So if I was making this for a bunch of people, I would have used the George Foreman. All right, so I've got these cut in half. I'm going to place them delicately in the frying pan. You don't need any oil or anything like that. I'm just gonna place them face down to start. You don't and put water in it to boil it? You don't it have or? to. No, I guess you could though. You could put a little bit of water in and that would maybe make them bubble a little bit. And I usually put a lid over the top too, just to keep them firmly grounded. So I'm gonna turn that on and get those going. We're gonna flip them too, when they, we want them to get kind of grilled on both sides. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up the tortillas so that those get warm and supple, you're gonna like that. Aren't you supposed to be wearing like a paper hat with stripes on a it? A paper like hat with stripes, me? Yeah. I know, it's so silly, isn't it? This is my gourmet show with me making hot dogs. But seriously, you know, when you have a hankering for something and you're not eating that something, it kind of makes you crazy. So we're gonna add this tortilla. Now this one is the one that has quinoa and chia in it, but D Derek doesn't care about that. He's got a iron of, um, he's got a stomach of iron, so I'm gonna put that one in. Too bad gonna... you don't have any more of the Teff ones. Well, they're good, but you'll like this. You'll like it. I promise you. And then my friend Mariah's here, and I'm going to make her one that's completely gluten-free. So then, Mariah, this one's for you, girly. Yay. Okay. All right. Then the next thing is to get all of the accoutrements that go on top. What do you like to put like on a hot dog, relish. Derek? Relish. 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 Well, how about is dill pickle okay? That's close enough. Or does it have to be sweet relish? That's close enough. Do you like sweet relish? Because I have sweet pickles. I can go get sweet pickles, but who likes sweet pickles? You and my husband. I mean, only the cool people like yeah, sweet right. pickles. Well, we're gonna make our own relish out of dill pickles. And I'm using Bubbies because I love them. And they are delicious. I love Bubbies. They are absolutely delicious. So I use Bubbies. And I'm also gonna use some red onion. Are you okay with red onion, Derek? Love red onion. Love red onion. Because that's kind of like I'm making my own relish, right? Yep. And also red onion actually has some nutrient value for it. So, you know, the hot dogs, I can't say, oh wow, the hot dogs are great but they're not bad for you, and the onions are actually really good for you, and so are the pickles. So this is gonna be yummy. And it's gonna be very colorful, like you It'll always It'll be say. very colorful. And I would put, because I am not a wuss and a baby, I would put jalapenos on mine, but Derek almost started to cry when I said I was gonna put jalapenos on. You so, mean Mariah. Ryan? No, you said Mariah. <laughs> Mariah Mariah said that too, but you said you didn't want any, any jalapenos. It's not, I'm not grown up enough for jalapenos. You're not grown up enough, no. Okay, so we're gonna add those. Let's just check the hot dogs and see if they're done. Okay, so those, I've got them flipped over and they're gonna get brown on the other side too. I'm gonna pull that tortilla out, flip it over. I think I've got Derek's ready to go. All right, the magic tortilla, and we can put all of the ingredients inside before we actually do the hot dog. We can put the onion and the pickle and the red onion. Do you like a lot of red onion or just a I little do. bit? No, you it's do. good flavor. Yeah, okay, good. And then, do you like mustard? Of course, the browner the better. Do you like both? Do yep. you like yellow and, and Dijon or just one? I would really just have Dijon. I have brown mustard for you too if you want that, you big baby. You well, want I'm that? I'm kind of a one mustard at a time kind so of guy. So brown mustard, brown not mustard. Dijon, because yep. Dijon, I have brown in the fridge. Let's go with the Dijon because you have it. Okay, all right. So Wait, is that use... Grey Poupon? Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. It's That's kind the of, commercial. It's kind of fancy, right? I like it. What about ketchup? Uh, oh, absolutely. You okay with ketchup? Yep. Okay. All right. Glad to know. There Real tomato ketchup, Eddie? Real tomato ketchup. It's organic. And now we're going to add the hot dogs. And now they're cut in half. And you're going to soak up all that yummy, yummy, yummy. Now you're going to roll them up just like a burrito. And if you cook these tortillas too, too long, they're going to crack. So you want to make sure they're just right. See how soft that is? That looks perfect. Look at that. that a looks, little baby in a blanket. That looks awesome. I'm going to have a bite. Right, and I'll save it. it for you. No. I'll make another one for Maria. But that's for Maria. I mean Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for today's episode of Cook with Joy. We'll see you next week with some other great, great, great food that you can feed your family. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs>